Hi everyone, today we are going to learn a little bit about Google Slides and how to add information to slides. Sometimes your teachers will give you um, a slideshow and ask you to fill in the blanks or add information. This is a vocabulary network that I want to use as an example. A vocabulary network gives some words and this is the example, you need to insert the words in the correct spaces. So I'm going to take this slide, the first one that I have to insert something. The vocabulary word, the first word I'm going to use is this one that is benefit. Benefit goes in the center of this web. In order to do that, I click on from the toolbar, the text box. I click on it and then I bring my cursor over to the spot where I want to insert the text. You'll see that a blue box appears. What I need to do is then fix the box with my cursor dragging it over to fit it into the box. Now I'm ready to type in the word. Once I move my cursor, I did spell that wrong. I'll fix that. Once I've done that, I can click anywhere and you'll see that the word remains where I put it. And then I can add more or change whatever I have there. Each of these boxes will be filled with something else. So the definition of benefit is going to go in this box. A clarifying sample will go here, related words, the root word, and antonyms. If I want to change something or add something else, I just go back to my text box, click where I want to add something, and size the text box to fit. Other things I could do, in this case, if I want to type the definition, I can use the bold, italics, or change the font. So I could change any of these and use any of these tools. Once I've finished it, I may want to, again, I spelled that one wrong. I'm going to fix it. If I'm writing it in an incomplete sentence, I may want to bold the word benefit. And then it stays. Another thing as you're working on this, you might notice that this is very small. If I go up to the top of my toolbar on the top right, you'll see three dots. Anytime you see three dots stacked vertically, that means there's more information there. You can click here and change the size of the zoom. So if I want to make it bigger in slides, this is going to make the whole screen bigger and you're going to see this menu get bigger. But if I want to make this work where I'm working bigger, I'm actually going to have to decrease the zoom and I can make it bigger so I can work on it easier. And then I can see it easier. Okay, so as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.